остановились на So now this is the second video. We are continuing from the lips. So we have finished the lips. Now we are going to measure the distance between the eyes and the nose and to actually draw out the nose. So as you can see, the nose is going towards the left side. So the line going down from the eyes to the nose are vertical. But the other side, if you are, see, if you face somebody completely straight, then you'll be able to see the lines. But if you're turned, then you won't be able to see it. So now we're going to turn the nose to the left. So the right side, we're going to find the lines, we're going to find the distance, draw it out. Just draw a line. But the second, the left side, we're going to find the distance between the left and the right. And the second line, not exactly around the nose, but it's on the nose. So we draw a line. We should know that the lips and the chin, the distance between the lips and the chin, and the nose and the mouth, the, the lips and the eyes are the same distance. So now we're going to find the center of the nose. To start, the left line is going to be a little bit smaller than the right. So now you get the distance. So you see the center of the lip and the center of the nose are a little bit off. They're not exactly centered together because the face is tilted. So approximately around half a centimeter. So now we're going to draw a little circle. And that's going to be the, the point of the nose. So we're going to make the gap of the lip and make a little line, to like a connector line between the gap and the nose. So now if you look at the center of where the nose is, So now we're finding the nostrils. And you use the circle, the circular area of the nose, to find the nostril. It's a little bit upwards. And on the right side as well. But the right is a little bit bigger than the left because the left side is hiding. But the right side, you see it completely. And so we draw her nose. 
dry the nostrils. And now you can actually start seeing the nose. And now you can connect it to the gap. So now we're just going to make the nostrils go upwards, the corners of the nose, draw the corners. So now we're going to use the points of the eyes to draw out the eyes so you can see them clearer. So to find the center of the eye, you don't even need to use a ruler. You can find it just by looking at it. So an uh, artist usually uses the distance. They eyeball it. So once you have the major points, once you have the lines, you already know where it's coming from. So now you're going to use these lines to measure out where the center of the eye exactly is. But you draw a little bit bigger on the canvas. And now the height. So now we're going to outline the bottom part of the eye. So now we found the, uh, the eyeball in the center. So the top area we're going to shade it a little bit more. Don't forget that when you draw the eyes, the inner eyes, the inner part of the eyes, is very important because especially on the right on the right side, as you can see, it's noticeable. On the left, it's not as noticeable. Her eyes are not, you know, popping out, they're open so wide, but you can still see it, it makes a difference. Um, it emphasizes on the smile of the person. It shows the, the movement of the face. So right now, just watch. And because what I'm showing you right now, it's, it's simple because right now you already have the proportions, right? You're just outlining everything. You're making it bolder and more visible.
is, you have to always make them look identical. And you have to do them at the same time. Don't do one eye and then go to the nose or the mouth, because then it's going to throw you off. So do one eye and then do the second eye right afterwards, so you know what you're looking at, and you know how to draw it out evenly. So don't forget the in the eyelids. They disappear, or they connect right to the nose and to the lower part of the, where the eyebrows are. So now we're going to look at the eyebrows. And now we're going to make the eyebrows. So we, got one. So we start off with the triangle. Second eyebrow. So we start from the forehead, the distance between the forehead and the eyebrows, and the distance between the nose and the eyebrows are the same. So there's the center. So use the ruler to find the center. So and then you add the hair, add some hair, cover it. And use the hair to outline the face. You can draw the shape of the face, a little oval. Don't forget the chin. And then connect it to each other. Side of the face. 
connect the left side. The chin. And you can even just use your finger and So the eyelid. And then again the eyebrow. So, so later on when you start painting with the oil paints, you can use these lines and you can change it around a little or just follow the lines and it'll be easier for you to paint everything out. And you can just make changes on your own. And then later on, once you keep getting into it, you'll notice the differences. If you want to change something, you'll change it. So you can even take a charcoal. You can add hair. It's up to you. If you want to add it, you can add it. If you don't want to, you don't have to. So then when you paint, that's the same way that you can, you know, start painting with the with your oils. And you could do the same to the lips, make them stand out more, a little bit bolder. shade everything, you can fix it. You can add some darkness, some light.